This winery is over 120 years old and is the first and oldest producer of Marsala wine. We were given a thorough tour of the winery and a detailed explanation of the history of Marsala wine. Jean Bordas was the first one who discovered Marsala here in 1773. So he decided to bring some barrels back in England, but pay attention because before leaving Marsala port, he added in each barrel some wine spirits. So he fortified the wine. Yeah, changed the, the story of Marsala. So basically 120 years ago, there's an English bloke on vacation in Marsala and he's really enjoying their red and white wines and he wants to bring some back to England. Since that trip takes a while, he decided to add some strong alcohol to the barrels to fortify and maybe keep the wine fresh, which created an interesting new higher alcohol blend of wine closer to port. As soon as English people taste the wine, they fell in love, so John Boudaus decided to come back here in Marsala and started a huge production, we can say, of Marsala wine. So in 1880, the English guy comes back to Sicily, hooks up with Paolo Pellegrino, and they start the Pellegrino Winery. He eventually passes it down to his son Carlo, who sadly passes away shortly after, leaving the winery to his wife. Women has always played a really important role. Carlo Pellegrino married Josephine Despan. So can you imagine Josephine Despan, a woman alone managing a company? I can imagine it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm progressive. I can imagine it. <laughs> OK, but, but we're talking not about back. Sicily. Yeah, we're Sicily, talking about maybe a small not. land. Uh -huh. yeah. After a thorough history and gender equality lesson, we entered the storage facility where they keep thousands of oak barrels holding their precious marsala, and we were finally able to taste some. Imagine time, taste, color. You mix it, you do some combos, you mix them together, and you can have 29 different marsala varieties. 29? 29. We started with one of their oldest and most important varieties, the Virgin Reserve, which is aged for over 20 years in their one-of-a-kind French oak barrels. We can say that this is a really more than complex marsala. I mean, there's a lot that you can smell and you can taste. And the, all this flavor and all these hints are given by the oak and by all this time that the marsala is uh, aim, being inside. The Virgin Reserve is an extra dry marsala, but we of course had to taste their most famous variety, which is a sweet dessert wine, Dolce Vino Marsala which we sipped along some cassata cakes, and wow, it was just wonderful. This is maybe the best sweet Marsala wine I've people, ever tasted. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. All the people that come here, they prefer always the sweet. I usually yeah. I usually don't, but no kidding, just tasting this right now, it's you know very what? good. It's really interesting, this uh, sort of velvet that yeah. leaves you in the mouth. Yeah, it's pretty soft. Soft was exactly how my brain and body were feeling after a full day of eating and drinking. So they let me relax in Carlo Pellegrino's original chair, where he sat, worked, and counted the money from all the wine they sold. Last year, we were able to produce like five million bottles. And a half. Five million bottles. Uh, yeah. A staggering and impressive amount of wine is produced in the Pellegrino winery, but they were eager to show me another part of the facility that they were almost equally as proud of. Within the winery, they have a small museum of ancient Sicilian carts, and it's absolutely remarkable. The simple method of transporting goods, usually attached to the back of a donkey, was a standard in Sicily for hundreds of years. It was like their first car. It's yeah, like this yeah. is a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah it, it, it is yeah. a Ferrari. Ferrari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. While I closely observed the detail of these carts that are a thousand years old, I couldn't help but think of Sicilians in general. Their beautiful creations and craftsmanship, and how this level of precision and beauty just comes instinctually to them. It's natural within you to say, oh, we're building a cart. What are we going to do with the car? We're going to make it yeah. <laughs> incredible because why? Yeah. Because we make incredible things. Yeah. But, you know, I don't think they think to themselves, let's make it incredible. They just say, let's make a cart, and this is what it turns out yeah. to look like. Yeah. Or let's make wine, or let's make dinner. Yeah. And if this extra surprise with the carts wasn't enough, on our way out, they described that while they were constructing this facility, they discovered the factory was right on top of ancient Roman ruins. So you didn't know this was under the ground? No, we didn't you're, know. You're just starting to build this complex 
We... And you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes, of course. Like a... The Pellegrino Winery, like all of Marsala, is full of treasures. 